For a long time in this industry, many VTubers have always pretended to be younger than they actually are. Not that it's necessary to reveal their age, but the pretending to be younger part is interesting. In fact, it's actually been a fear of a few indies and up-and-coming aspiring VTubers of whether or not their age will somehow nerf their growth or be a genuine problem that a few people might not want. The answer is no, don't let other people tell you otherwise. VTubing allows you anonymity and to have certain informations about yourself that you can make up and make sense out of. Why yes, Anon, I'm the very embodiment of darkness who has lived since time immemorial. Will you give me money? That's the appeal of kayfabe to not just the VTubers but also to the viewers, the suspension of disbelief. The 500 year old eldritch abomination punched into the shape of a cat girl? Yeah, that's pretty normal, but somehow a 30 year old cafe owner or bartender VTuber is not as cool. Which is a sentiment I severely disagree with by the way, and it seems like everyone is thinking up all sorts of wild and wacky concepts that sometimes they forget simple designs and simple concepts work a little more. In fact, it's actually the simpler designs that get more popular and iconic. While I do appreciate the complicated eye candy designs that has a lot of details, people remember more the designs that are a bit plainer. Now, I actually don't blame VTubers for this, and I do get it. Why try to be very simple and plain when you are in a medium that can explore all sorts of creative possibilities? Sometimes, it's boring to be simple, and sometimes, for obvious reasons, people would rather not reveal their age. Just how they would not reveal certain circumstances behind their lives and certain informations. But in the case of age, it's not something to be ashamed of anymore in this industry. In fact, it has never been the case. I mean, sure, there are some weirdos out there that's gonna whine and cry. Ooh, emergen break, you're too old to be here. Oh, this whore has been ran through since she's old. But for the most part, it's not a problem. Again, it has never been a problem. Because there is a little culture here in Vichy being called Hagdom. And I'm going to try and explain it, why it's getting mainstream in this era despite always being popular since like 2-3 to three years ago, and why a lot of VTubers are now embracing it. So, hags, despite how ugly the implications the term implies, is in VTubing and other related cultures refer to women that are 30 years old or older. But there are also honorary hags who aren't actually 30 years old but have the same vibes and traits that people love about hags. But first, I'd like to explain some potential reasons as to why hags are the way they are and why the industry actually benefits hag watchers and hags themselves more than most people. See, VTubing is a niche industry that's steadily growing but is ultimately hard capped. The ceiling of growth in this industry is blatant and it's suffocating to a certain extent. A niche of a niche. Because of that, this is a place where appealing to teenagers or kids isn't a very good option. Appealing to teens preteens and kids in a mainstream setting including that of Twitch and YouTube is super lucrative. In fact, that's the target demographic a lot of companies, YouTubers, and general content creators want to hit. This is just my guess, but because while they don't have that much money to donate and stuff aside from when they steal their parents credit card, the sheer number of views and watch time more than makes up for that. That's why YouTube is a massive stickler for content that are generally safe to watch for all ages because their priorities are mostly the kids. But again, in VTubing, that's not the case. People who are in here needs to be at the very least like the animation medium to be into it. We don't have a mainstream appeal, at least not yet. In Japan, yes, but in EN, not really. And to showcase how small this industry actually is, the biggest and most mainstream VTuber right now in the EN side is Gargura, who only has 5 million subscribers. And that's a lot. But the reason why I'm saying only, because 5 million subscribers against mainstream streamers like XQC or Kaisenat, who gets these numbers and viewerships on their side, Gura ain't shit. And so because we don't have a mainstream appeal, the industry cannot capitalize on the mainstream numbers to make up for those. For small to middle sized VTubers, which the overwhelming vast majority of VTubing is, including agency VTubers, they are very donation reliant. Heck, the metric that most people gauge the financial performance of a VTuber is primarily their super chat and donation revenue. And to give a more personal example, I'm a YouTuber in this industry, not even an actual VTuber, at least not yet. And the bulk of my income comes from donations, not views, which I do appreciate by the way, streamelements.com slash depressosagi. Outside Hololive or Nijisanji exclusive watchers, it's why you see a lot of donothons or subathons or other means that always drive donations in this industry, even among corpo VTubers. 
a content creator in this industry, unless they have some semblance of mainstream appeal, cannot bet on views to make up the bulk of their money. It only makes sense that if you want more money, you need to target audiences that are more financially stable. And thankfully, contrary to the mainstream belief that VTubers are for the younger folk, we actually love older women. See, VTubing is inherently tied to anime culture. Even though there's a lot of VTuber fans and VTubers out there that don't actually like or proactively watch anime, what matters is that they like the culture or they like the aesthetic. The anime boom, in the US at least, happened in the 1990s. Back then, a lot of people were kids, and anime has been gaining on traction ever since, with a smaller version of this boom happening during the late 2000s to early 2010s. VTubing as an industry was born in the late 2010s, so it makes sense that most people that liked the culture back then are at the very least on their 20s or at most on their 40s, with the majority, according to what I've seen, being mostly hovering around the 20 to 30 year old range. And if a lot of these people are still watching anime or still have anime access now, one can assume that they probably have a relatively stable source of income. Or they're broke college students who need VTubers to calm down in their downtime. Or Sometimes, genuinely high-performing people with high-paying jobs that just so happens to like the medium. Hey, skilled and high-performing people are often the most successful and the weirdest. It's true. Look it up. Somehow, furries are fucking chemical engineers or actual surgeons or government officials, and somehow VTuber fans are company executives, doctors, and senior mechanics and some shit. It's pretty damn weird. And why this is important is because of two reasons. Men of older age are financially more stable, and if you get one or two to like you enough, they are going to get you a shit ton of donations. In fact, many small to medium VTubers have one or three whales who they rely on as a large part of their money. Parasocial or GFE hags are the absolute winners in this regard, at least in terms of finances. They kinda have to know the risks when they want to cater to this market and act accordingly, but in any case, Older men's watch time and attention span are great because the YouTube algorithm will promote videos and content that have longer watch time. Short form content, not really. Which is why a lot of VTubers have and may end up regret doing YouTube shorts or eventually stop because it doesn't seem really good for anything aside from engagement farming on Twitter or Reddit or racking up dead subscribers. It is good for getting your name out there though. But hey, this is anecdotal. I don't know the actual numbers. In fact, most of what I say in this video are anecdotal. I'm just pulling these out of my ass but they seem true. And it seems to be the case with a lot of VTubers that I've seen. So how does this tie back to hags and hagdom? I'm not saying that younger demographics are not important. They are, don't get me wrong. Zoomers and younger people can appreciate hags and sometimes even may prefer hags over anyone else for reasons we'll get into later. After all, it's only a matter of time until everyone appreciates hags eventually. Zoomer catering content creators are short-lived because their audience will always grow up. And while one might think that new Zoomers are going to make up for the Zoomers that left, new Zoomers are going to like new things and ride new trends. The content that Zoomer catering creators make will not necessarily appeal to the new Zoomers. Those creators will have to adapt and pivot in order to cater to a much more mature demographic and grow with their audience, or they'll have to be up to speed and pivot into the new trends that the new Zoomers like. Failing to do that, and they will get replaced by new Zoomer catering content creators. But hags are universal. Hags are the human equivalent to evergreen content. Any age range can like them. And it's only a matter of time until those that don't eventually do. That is the algorithmic and near OP circumstances that hag creators and hag VTubers find themselves in, especially hags that actually do keep up with the internet. Women at the age of 30 are in demand wisely said Hosho Marie. In fact, there is so much demand that even in Japan, Pecora's mom, yes, the mom of a VTuber, currently holds the record for the biggest VTuber debut in the entire industry. And this was only an April Fool's joke. I mean, obviously there's a lot of factors, like the fact that viewers like it whenever a family member of their favorite VTubers appear on stream, or that she's piggybacking off of Pecora's already large viewer base, or whatever. But I think we know the reason why. One can really imagine what it would be if there was like an entire VTuber generation or corp out there that are just a bunch of moms. Iago, you need to make holo moms or holo hags happen. Heck, it doesn't even have to be holo live. There's an entire obvious big ass gaping maw of a market in here that nobody seems to be taking advantage of. With that being said, it's now important to address the question. Why do people, even of the younger side, like 
hacks and we have to tackle this from different perspectives physical sociological or social and sexual in the physical aspect because you're a vtuber nobody really fucking cares brother i mean sure right we can have an argument as to how younger ladies from 18 to 25 are peak versus 25 to 30 or that people generally develop an attraction to other people around their age and more whatever any argument involving looks are irrelevant to vtubing because anime as an aesthetic can make anyone of any age look attractive also, because hags are women that are 30 or older, a lot of guys basically get the impression that they're a mom at that point, right? And what you may ask is the most common and ideal body shape of a mommy or a MILF? Look, there's a massive overlap between hags and MILFs. In VTubing, they're basically the same thing. The social aspect is actually much more interesting. Because VTubing as a medium relies more on one's conversational skills and voice rather than actual appearances, generally, it's people that are very charismatic or is able to hold down a conversation in an interesting way that's much more pleasing to listen to and watch do stuff. In this way, hags benefit from VTubing because hags are generally much more chill and confident. They know how to talk and pull you in interesting conversations. See, one of the weaknesses of normal streaming is that if you're a woman that is not conventionally attractive according to current societal standards, you're most likely to not get that much attention. And even if you are, you most likely have to put up a shit ton of makeup and a lot of preparation that can hassle you. But under the guise of a virtual avatar, many people can see your personality and judge you according to your merits rather than superficially. One's success does not hinge on physical traits that you may or may not have control over. And I think this is the power that a lot of older women have and why many nerdy older women prefer to be in this side of the content creating space. Aside from people liking and vibing more with others around roughly their same age, people who like hags often find them being more real but wacky in the right ways, more mature in handling anything, carry a conversation, less bullshit, more straight to the point, and the fact that they're VTubers have a greater chance of them potentially having much more common interests with the general target demographic of VTubers. And in the sexual aspect, I mean... <laughs> Come on. See, the prevalence of hags in the industry is also helped by the fact that a lot of VTubers are actually kind of showing their rage, whether they realize it or not. Perhaps some PL knowledge got leaked. Perhaps it's a reference that only a people of a few age will understand. Maybe their voice or speech patterns betrays their age. Maybe they just fucking tell you. What is clear is that there is a demand and that it's okay to be an older woman here. VTubing is meant to be a place where any person of any background is allowed to be who they want to be. LARP as that one OC that they've always wanted to play up in their heads. Most VTubers in this industry are either Christmas cakes, hags, or hags in the making. No point anymore in trying to hide, so let your hagdom fly you beautiful, not-so-old soul. I may not fully understand or feel the appeal and grandeur of hags right now, and I might not even be the best person to make this video, but does it really matter? There's going to be nothing but thirst posting, poetry, and heartfelt essays about the glory of hags in the comment section anyway, just fucking pouring their souls out on why they like hags, and they're going to do a much better job than I have. That was the actual plan all along, to make you fuckers make my content for me. Now off you go and make your essays, you fucking horny sons of bitches.